What's up guys, as a Marcy spammer I had to become a little bit creative right now because she got nerfed pretty hard. Um, I came up with this carry Marcy build as you can see uh, from the items and the farm I have in this game. I think it has a lot of potential actually because you actually can win a lot of lanes easily and the carry potential is pretty nice. Um, I think I can win a lot of games with this build. I'll just let you watch the damage a bit and then I'll just show you my build that I cooked up. Alright, let's go to the build. So before we start I just want to say I hope we get some Marcy cosmetics. I'm making this video a couple of hours before the battle pass drops so fingers crossed. Mm, Marcy has been my favorite hero ever since it dropped, ever since it got released. It's a lot of fun, I think. Um, I made this guide, you can uh, just type it in and also use it if you want. Um, so the idea of this is you get Orb of Venom and Rebound level 1. So when you're 5 trades with the enemy 4, you can jump and get kills in a lot of situations. Especially level 2, um, like that is your insane power spike. Level 2 is where you can kill most uh, off lanes. Then you make sidekick just for the sustain, so because you don't get a ring of health or anything like most carries. So you just sustain through that. And level 6 is where you're really strong, where you can actually kick out most off laners, not like the other way around where it's in most lanes. Um, so the starting item build will be these items. I will get Bracer if there is like an off lane uh ranged offlane hero that i can't really hit with my orb of venom but i will get this like in 95 percent of games i think because it's also about uh killing the four so just get this if you are really sure the bracer will be value you can get one um infused raindrops versus like necro and stuff um so if you have this starting items then you get these in order i uh, just made this so you can purchase it in order Ring of Bassie, if you don't have like a CM or your 5 is not purchasing like a, the Bassie, you absolutely need this, I think, you or your uh, 5. Then you actually get the Corrosion, because with your sidekick, you and your 5 hitting the enemy with the slow and the armor reduction is insane damage in the lane. Then you get Face Boots for the, for the level 6 timing. And then you can you can get a wand in between these whenever you feel like it. Um, and then you get the Maelstrom for the farm. So this will be your core items in almost every game. Um, after Maelstrom you get the BKB, the Basher. And then it really depends what you want. You want the Blink if you want to jump around a lot. If you have like a Zeus or something. Um, and I think in most games you actually get the axe after Basher because you always get these two. So no one can manfight you if you have these. But then you get the axe because your uptime on your ult with axe is f almost 50%. So you the duration is 16. Wi with the axe you have 40, 40 second cooldown. So in the late game this is very good. As a one two three fourth item and then the situational items this is like uh, depends on the game you almost always will get the whistle the data loss and the strength blink i think like this is also very good versus like these wind runners and like omni and stuff um just quick the talents these two are like I don't think you can debate these because you jump around so much, you stun a lot. You, you We got the uh, area of effect stun buffed. So this is a lot of stun, a lot of mobility. This is also uh, like you can't skip this because this allows you to blink stun like the old Marcy. So blink stun like a guaranteed initiation. Blink stun into sidekick ulti with basher is like a kill on almost everyone and I would suggest getting the immunity almost every game. This can be very good situationally but if you just want to play 
safe get this all right this is the build i cooked up just try it out and if you like it if you like my content just leave a like and subscribe all right see ya